The war in Iraq. VP nominee Sarah Palin supports the troops. Her son is an infantryman in the U.S. Army. She told Time Magazine she'd like to know there's an exit plan and believes ending dependence on foreign oil will help end the war. And the reason why the U.S. is at war? Here's what she told her former our church. Leaders, our national leaders are sending them out on a task that is from God. That's what we have to make sure that we're praying for, that there is a plan and that that plan is, is God's plan. On gun control, Palin is a lifelong hunter, a member of the NRA, and favors gun safety programs for teenagers. She is tough on crime and has said if the legislature passed the death penalty, she would sign it. For Palin, economy, energy, and the environment are inseparable, and her positions stem from her desire to create jobs using Alaska's natural resources. She wants to open up the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge to search for oil and gas. She believes in renewable energy like wind, but also wants to lift the moratorium on offshore drilling. One Republican lawmaker told CNN Palin has spent the majority of her time as governor working to secure an Alaska-Canada pipeline to deliver natural gas and create a new energy economy. She believes the climate is changing, but not as a man-made phenomenon. And her administration filed a lawsuit against the federal government to get the polar bear off the endangered species list. When it comes to business, taxes, and state budgets, Palin worked on modifying the tax system, eliminating personal property taxes and taxes on small businesses. She's a fiscal conservative and asked state agencies to trim their budgets, but last year didn't cut the operating budget sent to her by the legislature. As for social issues and civil rights, Palin is opposed to abortion except to save the life of a mother. She opposes stem cell research, opposes same-sex marriage, and believes teens should be taught abstinence. Deborah Feyerick, CNN, New York.